Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. Let's talk about emphysema. You may have heard that emphysemic patients being termed pink puffers, and we'll talk exactly about what that means. But first you need to realize that emphysema in most cases is caused by cigarette smoke. And that over time, this cigarette smoke leads to chronic inflammation that damages the alveoli. The alveoli is the site of gas exchange. This is where oxygen and carbon dioxide jump from the airways to the blood and vice versa. And usually we've got this extremely large surface area within our alveoli due to all these lumps and bumps. Now, the surface area is about the size of a tennis court if you were to open up all our alveoli. In somebody with emphysema, the walls of these alveoli are destroyed and they end up becoming just big round balls. This decreases the surface area and can, in some cases, be the size of a table tennis court as opposed to a tennis court. So this means that the gas exchange ability is decreased and that's why people with emphysema are usually on oxygen tanks because their ability to exchange gases is quite difficult. In addition to that, if you saw some with emphysema, you'd see that they start to engage all the accessory muscles for breathing. So this includes the muscles in the neck, including the sternocleidomastoid, for example, and you see that they use a lot of energy in breathing, okay? All right, the other thing you need to know is that when you look at a set of lungs and you've got the open airways within our lungs, you've also got all this elastic tissue. What this elastic tissue does is when you go to Take a breath in, you'll contract the rib cage or the muscles of the rib cage, you'll contract the diaphragm, diaphragm pulls down, rib cage pulls up and out, and it stretches the lungs, stretches this elastic tissue, and these airways open up because they're attached to the elastic tissue. That means when you take a breath in, your airways open up nice and large and all this air can come in. Then what you do to get the air back out is you simply relax and the elastic recoil snaps back pushes the air back out again. Now in somebody with emphysema, this elastic tissue is destroyed because of that chronic inflammation, like I said, usually due to cigarette smoke. And because there's less elastic tissue, think about what that means. If you were to have five rubber bands holding them like this and to pull them open, it's quite difficult because there's a lot of elastic tissue. And when you let go, they snap back quite nicely. That's like a normal, happy, healthy lung. But if you only had one rubber band that you'd snapped open and shut a lot, it opens up very easily but doesn't snap back very easily. That's like emphysema. So they go to take a breath in, they open it up, it's called compliancy, it's very compliant, it opens up nice and large, air rushes in, but then when they go to relax, the lungs don't snap back and air gets trapped. That's why they have hyperinflation, they get this barrel chest is a sign of emphysema because of the elastic recall isn't as great as it used to be. Now, why are they called pink puffers? Well, pink because they're using so much energy just to breathe that they end up getting quite pink and flushed. The amount of energy they use just to breathe is the same amount of energy we use just to do our normal daily tasks, okay? And why puffing? Well, the problem with having no elastic recall is that if they were to forcefully exhale, so use the accessory muscles for forceful exhalation, they can push the lungs down so forcefully that these airways collapse. Usually these airways are kept open because of the elastic tissue, but when that elastic tissue is gone, they collapse, and that means if their lungs or airways collapse, breathing isn't gonna happen. So what they need to do is control the exhalation so they tend to purse their lips. This pursed lips is where the puffer comes from. So you find that they turn pink puffers because of all the energy that's used and pursing their lips to stop the airways from collapsing. That's emphysema.